all right guys welcome back to another battlefield 2042 news video today we have what will likely be the next major update coming to the game that is set to launch in early august we're going to go over all of the details in the next update and so much more but before we jump into it i'd like to thank today's sponsor surfshark vpn if you're looking for the best way to protect your privacy online there is no better service than surfshark vpn they are one of the leading vpns that i've actually been personally using for quite some time surfshark keeps you private and secure online by connecting you to to a server of your liking they've got tons of servers to choose from so pick one that best suits your needs surfshark vpn encrypts your internet activity so no one could track or steal your data surfshark also changes your device ip address and your virtual location you can get early access to games by switching time zones all you have to do is switch your vpn server to the one time zone that's getting the game the earliest and get that day one streaming advantage access and unblock content libraries and streaming services from other countries like all of the netflix libraries surfshark VPN is the best way to secure your online data. For instance, if you do any traveling and you're constantly having to connect to free public Wi-Fi networks, Surfshark will protect you against any potential hackers that would be utilizing free public Wi-Fi networks. Surfshark has a ton of different additional products that they offer. For instance, antivirus that keeps your devices virus free and search that gets you truly organic results and avoid personalized ads. So guys, do me a favor, click the link in the description and use my code NEMO to get 83% on plus three extra months for free and the real beauty of it all is surfshark allows you to use one account for an unlimited number of devices so huge thank you to surfshark vpn for supporting my channel and without further delay let's go ahead and talk about the next battlefield 2042 update so as you guys know the next update for battlefield 2042 is set to release sometime in early august and that will be the update 1.2 of the game and with that it will bring tons of new changes to the game that you guys are not going to want to miss out so let's go ahead and talk about everything so if you guys remember the roadmap that we got for season one we know that there's going to be two maps reworked the first one being kaleidoscope and that will be launching alongside the update in early august which as we saw from the previews is not only going to make the map look better but it's going to improve the balancing of the map because currently kaleidoscope is just an open playing field that has really no cover so part of that is going to not only make it look gritty but it's also going to make the map flow a lot better in terms of the objective game modes like your conquest or your breakthrough now what i like the most about them overhauling maps like kaleidoscope and renewal is it really just proves that if battlefield does what they do best in terms of how they design their maps then we know that the game could be better like if you look at the new map that we got for season one it is a night and day difference between the core experience that battlefield 2042 offered at launch compared to how the game is now so i know one could say that it's really hard to polish a turd but i think that kaleidoscope is a unique case because the map currently plays all right but just imagine how it's going to play if they actually have better cover and the map just looks a lot more atmospheric to the setting the battlefield 2042 was supposed to be so the kaleidoscope is the biggest thing that we're going to be getting for the update 1.2 but we've also got a lot more stuff to talk about and the next thing is updated specialist looks so as you guys know the art team at dice took the current specialist characters and how they looked and completely overhauled them the characters that we knew from the launch of the game are not the same specialists that we're going to have for update 1.2 according to the battlefield twitter they said our specialists are getting a makeover while we're a bit away from these things getting into the game Game, here is a sneak peek at what you can expect to see heading your way in early August. It shows Boris, McKay, Falk, and Angel, and they look absolutely incredible. This is exactly what these characters should have looked like at launch, and for that reason, I am pretty excited for it. The next big fix that we're going to get with the update in early August is something that has been affecting the console community for quite a while, and that is aim assist. According to Battlefield Bulletin on Twitter, they said DICE believes they have found the issue that was causing aim assist inconsistencies on console. Battlefield Bulletin said they have a fix ready which is currently scheduled for the next update in august and then they showed a screenshot from stratford that says this first thank you for flagging the issues you experienced with aim assist and the additional information we've since collected from you which helped us investigate we believe we have found the issue that was causing inconsistent behavior and have a fix ready which is currently scheduled for the next game update more details on the update itself will follow closer to its release we look forward to hearing your feedback so there you have it guys the update in august is going to finally fix aim assist for all of you players on console i know it's been played you guys for quite a while and i'm glad that they're gonna get it fixed hopefully things go well and it doesn't completely break aim assist again but i'm not gonna jinx anything i think this is gonna go well but we'll just have to wait and see how the game plays whenever it launches granted it doesn't really affect me because i play on pc but i know people that play on controller and it's got to be really annoying for you guys next up we've got these stealth helicopters 30 millimeter cannons are going to be tweaked as well as the bsvm will also be getting a balance update and then according to battlefield bulletin the player profile stats page has also 
also going to be implemented and updated which is yet another feature that i expected to be at launch but it is what it is it's finally going to get updated moving right along we've got another list of known issues that has been forwarded to dice already and this is according to battlefield bulletin again huge credit to them guys definitely go check out their twitter and follow them starting off on the list of known issues the teleport glitch on exposure players are getting stuck inside the map textures or certain structures while playing next up there are some invisibility glitches that dice is aware of for certain enemies squad mates and guns while driving certain vehicles and then we've got a very rare bug where specialists appear on the end of round screen turned into objects assets of the map the next bug we got is a black screen while driving some vehicles you can only see the hud icons sometimes players end up in a weird state when using weapons with underbarrel grenade launchers and exiting vehicles they can't ads the deploy wingsuit message is still appearing on the screen after landing dice was forwarded the issue where easy anti-cheat launch error message when booting up the game there's a crazy flickering issue slash texture glitch where some objects or assets of the map pop in and out on the screen including some floating specialist models there's a visual bug in the new pacifier s far m gl optic skin next up we've got another big issue that was forwarded to the team and that is the game randomly sets the resolution of something very low in full screen it seems like every time i reinstall the game this happens to me so i'm glad they're gonna get that fixed eventually hopefully it's in the august update continuing on friendly stealth helicopters and soldiers are not being tagged by blue slash green markers certain vehicles cannot be selected from the spawn menu on breakthrough which are supposed to be permitted after the first sector if you join the match in the first sector you can only see slash select the first sector vehicles in sector two or three the tactical sprint animation gets stuck after spawning and jumping out of airplanes there's a bug where sometimes there are no player icons on the mini map some of the weekly challenges are resetting back to zero which is really annoying and that pretty much wraps it up with all of the bugs that are known to the game that are currently going to be fixed battlefield bulletin then noted some additional things saying hazard zone will probably receive more updates in an upcoming patch dice made some changes months ago but that was prior to their decision to end in the development support for hazard zone and then finally the spawn logic is still being reviewed on game modes such as conquest and breakthrough now moving right along we've got some more stuff that could be added to portal for the battlefield 2042 update in early august and this is all according to temporal leaks shout out to them on twitter they stated new references to unreleased weapons for portal and battlefield 2042 update 1.1 the first weapon being the aek 971 ar the next one is aug and then we've got the brin the rpk lmg sks dmr m2 carbine the m95 bolt action rifle and the m249 saw lmg temporal then stated that this is potential content for the next patch currently scheduled for august so yeah guys if everything goes well then that is going to be a pretty beefy update for battlefield 2042 in august i really hope it's not a small patch we need new content we need new changes to the game and i hope that whatever dice is doing they really bring the heat with this update because a lot of people have been not really playing the game lately myself included because there's just not enough content to the game we need a new weapon and we need it very soon but anyway guys that is going to wrap it up with this video huge thank you to surfshark vpn be sure to use my code nemo for 83 percent off plus three free months the link is in the description and until next time guys this has been your boy west and i will talk to you guys on the next gaming news video